Asiwaju, I am not among those people coming to hustle. If you do not do the right thing, we will come and our king's men. Ayo, Fayoshi speaks. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we we'll post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. The former governor of Ekiti State, Ayo Dele Fayoshi, stated that he is not among those people coming to hustle. Ayo Dele Fayoshi said he was governor at the same time the president of Nigeria, Asiwaji Bola Ahmed Tenbo, was governor of Lagos State. Ayo Dele Fayoshi said this while speaking in an interview on TVC TV. He said, and I quote, Asiwaju, I am not among those people coming to hustle. If we do not do the right thing, we will come and our kinsman, we will come and tell you these are what people are saying. That is after giving you enough time. But if you do not equally answer, we will have enough courage to say the truth. We will not die there. I was a governor at the same time as Siwaji was governor in this country. As Siwaji himself took time to criticize the government and government, criticize the government, government in, government out. I am sure Asiwaju is not opposed to being criticized, but our criticism must be constructive and result oriented. Well, what is happening that they tell us? <laughs> hey, hey. That is why those who are dragging this man left, right, center. This is, uh, you are this, you are that. You go see people, they can't defend the bread. Why, why don't defend of the universe? There is no government that can function well without criticism. That means that person is a tyrant, a dictator. Dem people must talk in a democratic system of government. And you must adjust. I don't say shall or want. You must. It is MU capital letters. That is it. Those who are always, oh, it is because you don't like him. This is not a matter of you don't like him. And the thing is, the criticism that is coming, most especially from the opposition. For now, PDP, then they sleep. PDP, and I know they give better criticism. As in, they don't do it in a way that it is constructive and result-oriented. Nah. Nah, we say they call them. Your Labour Party go come with, if you say, do one like this, you do one like this. You know, do like this, so you for do one like this. Now, then, now they are on, they come, they tell you. If they lead, put ear down for their critics now, eh? Then go learn something. Even with we be, we be the electorate, then go learn something. The government must not be too rigid. It must be firm, but not be too timid or rigid. So, um, Mr. Aide Fayoshi, eh? Yes, it is okay, but what is one you are saying now that you are going to number knows? And does he really care? The most important thing is, I told us that time before election, find somebody who is really genuinely invested in making sure Nigeria becomes better. It is the person's dream. He wants, as in, he wants to be the one that kickstarts that this country start getting better. You get? And you cannot do it with, with the way a lot of, they, they got a lot of government, what am I saying? A lot of things the government are doing now is actually wrong. With the way they came in, first of all, and now subsidy is gone without proper plan in place. Without proper, you know, they did not sit down and look at the consequences and, okay, how is it going to affect the populace? How is it going to affect Nigerians? You understand? Then the spending of millions and billions up and down, this thing what they tell you in dollars, so this one, 15 billion naira for president's residence, 15 billion naira for vice president's residence. Another how many billion for family budget bearless every day, uh, 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 residence. For this one for office of the first lady. Can you call this one for buying of how many, what's it called, buying of how many uh, uh, cars for this thing. This is not the time. So yes, this one, I identify your show, you don't need to say it. If it's this, and I've said it before, if you're really, I don't know about them, but if APC is a party where... I don't know, my ideology of a party is you don't just come and loot. They come together. Just like APC and Nana, they, they are the ones in government when you, when you talk about, uh, what's it called, when you talk about the, as in, and then this 70% government, 
at the national, at the state, and at local level in almost all the states in this country. We could tell ourselves the truth. Meaning that my ideology of a party is they will come together. They will give themselves. They will, how, how am I going to put this? They will put their heads together, come up with things. As in, they will be invested in you for your state, you are doing well. You for your state, you are doing well. You for your state, you are doing well. That is what they will be invested in. But alas, you don't be like that at all. You understand? My ideology of a party is the, you, you, you actually sit down and, oh, now Baba Nain be president. How we go use one? He's open to suggestions. How we go use this thing? How we go use this thing? Then put it together. Find out how. We then go use one. As in maybe, it might be a quarterly thing. Yes, it might be a quarterly thing. Your Q1, Q2, Q2, Q3, Q3 Q4. It may be a quarterly something. Members of the party, you, you, you get better. But the ideology of the party in Nigeria is come and uh, moya, wajen, come and collect your share. That is the ideology here. Because Tenubu did not give you appointment, Abi, you are drifting away. I identify you, she's drifting away because they don't give him appointment. I don't know, I'm not sure. I don't no, 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 I'm not sure. Tenubu did not look for your share direction. Now, for your is crying, and his crying is getting louder by the day. Very witty politician. You can never trust politicians. Hear what this man is saying, that the removal of subsidy will serve as a benefit to few Nigerians. But the question is, are we not all supposed to benefit from a country as citizens? Again, now that the statement he made that the removal of subsidy will serve as a benefit to few Nigerians, underline the word few, then you will know where I'm heading to. And don't you dare trust politicians. They are like green snake. <laughs> Under the green grass. Nana Inando. I was telling people this thing now. Make sure somebody, people, the person you are picking... Eh? You know, we come for a road. And this time around, we never even come out. Oh. We never start far. Our procession is still far. The journey to Kena. <laughs> we just come out for Egypt. <laughs> I mean, we never even come out safe, go. Because it is looking like, in a, in a, in a never even start. Everybody done the worn out. Making a house, making a do warm up. Oh. <laughs> How this women are talk? I said in the pre election, pick somebody that is invested in taking care of Nigeria, like their own, like a business adventure. You know now, businessmen, the way they use their, let's say, okay, who are going to use now? Let's say, Wale Adenuga, his business, he won't come to use and they play. No, now. Now this is going to make a business thrive, blows on. You understand? You guard your business jealous. What if you say they fund your lifestyle, your rich, your billionaire lifestyle, your billionaire be your trillionaire lifestyle, you won't come to use and to play, no, now. Uh-uh, you safe. That is how it is supposed to be because the thing is, whether we like it or not, whatever action the government take, it's, it's, you, no matter how religious you are, say, I am not of the government of this world, mm-mm, you go touch you. So long and short, I identify a share, whether you come outside to give, um, whether I come outside, I can't tell to um, uh, what you go do, what you go do. I understand, I, I kind of like the fact he's saying, that he should be open to criticism. But whether he criticizes Tunubu or not, we, the citizens, will also crucify, I mean, I say crucify, criticize him as well. <laughs> Tunubu should be open-minded enough, not too rigid, but he should actually, yes, be open-minded enough to take corrections. People that say we should give him time, oh, we did, we did give him time. Hopefully, eh? At least when he, when did as in when the time that time when the same could give him when he go elapse, uh, I be go see the here. <laughs> All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.